Hello, so you wanna learn how to do shading and lighting like this? Don't worry, I'll teach you that today. So this is the reference and this is where the light is coming from. There should be only one source of light, not so many. As a beginner, we usually put so many sources of light and that looks so messy. So take care of that. Now I shaded one part of her uh, face dark, you can see here and the other is light like this is the base color and one place this is where the shadow is coming that's why it's like that because the light is coming from left direction the right direction is uh, you know in the shadow and yeah after that I'll color more shadows because if we just put one shadow and one color it look very flat so I usually put so many like two to three shadow and uh, shading to not make it look so flat and that always work and yeah after this I will put this orangey tone in the uh, transition of shadow to light I already told this in a video why I do this so you can see that video on how to color the skin and yep now I will add this purple blue color in her face it's the bounce light coming from the snow and uh, mm, the shadow lights there it's the bounce light and yep that's uh, that how uh, you know we get different different shadows we have to take care of the bounce lights please do not forget bounce light ever it uh, gives the face more 3d look and it doesn't make it look so flat now after that I will shade the clothes first of all I will just like the face put uh, uh, darken a part of uh, the clothes aside like this right side and this is this blue color is actually the shadow which is because of the girl and something is there like yeah it's just a shadow in the snow and yeah now after i shaded the whole color dark the whole part dark i will add this white color and some more variation of sh shadows like i told you uh, do not make it look so flat so uh, I'm adding this white color here uh, which is the light and yep we here also we are not gonna forget bounce light you will ask why the shadow is blue it's because of the bounce light and just like the face I will put a overlay layer and uh, uh, you know do this thing here I'm doing I will I don't know what to say brighten that area like I mean because of the bounce lights and shadows it, the area will glow kind of glow and that I want to add that glow in the shadow part because there are there is not only one light source working there are so many light source and we have to keep that in mind and yep I'll just do the same thing to the other part and then add this red color in the uh, transition of shadow to dark uh, this again give a very good color variation uh, and it just look really good um, as you can see the difference you know it just it's looking better be than before by adding some sh uh, color variations here and there and yeah now it's time for the scarf just adding shadows first and then lights and then some color variations then some more darker shadows just that's the sequence i follow and uh, yeah it's looking pretty good so far and again some color variation here i'm again adding blue color uh, you know i usually choose a color which is uh, opposite to the color already to the base color I mean I, I already explained this in color theory choosing opposite colors just make the whole drawing pop and that's what I wanna do and now here is the hair I first add this uh, color variation in the hairs too and because it's green pink is the opposite in the opposite in the opposite direction of color wheel so it looks good it pops so that's why I'm adding some pink and some blue here and there because uh, I want I don't want you know I want to make that fading effect and uh, it just look good I mean I just want to make it look good somehow 
and yeah, again did a whole part in the shadow like the, the right area in the shadow and then i will add some color variations again and add some first of all i'll add some shadows in the hair uh, we add all these things by keeping the light source the direction of light source in mind and uh, also keep the bounce light in mind uh, the drawing and yep here's the hairs done oh, sorry i did not show the whole process because it stopped recording in between but yeah it's just my way of doing hair so yeah i just did it and now just adding some shadows around her you know to, again to put some depth to put some deeper shadows like i already told you and it's time for the snow i was really confused how i'm gonna draw the snow but okay i think it turned out quite good um, yeah we it's you might be wondering why it's blue why it's a lot of blue it's just because of the bounce light the sky is blue and it's the bounce light bouncing in the shadow and making it look so blue uh, shadows are usually blue when the sky is blue or because it's in the snow 